This is Jim Jar reporting to you live from XYZ Nightly News in New Orleans. Hurricane Katrina has ripped up the Gulf Coast and slammed into Louisiana and Mississippi. The winds have exceeded up to 170 miles per hour and storm surges up to 26 feet. Here in New Orleans, we have experienced complete devastation. We are a low-lying port city. That means we sit below sea level. The heavy rains and storm surges have overwhelmed our levees and have caused massive flooding. We may have avoided some of the heavy winds that Mississippi has been hit with, but the flooding has been disastrous. Yes, Jim, just like much of New Orleans, over in here in Biloxi, we have near total destruction. Hurricane winds, 28-foot storm surges, and 55-foot sea waves have been pushing casino barges, boats, and debris into town. Mississippi has been discussing emergency evacuation plans for many days. How Scotty Henry's brother, Roger, eats a Reese's peanut butter cup. This is my kid brother. He loves his Reese's, as you can see. But, well, he eats it real weird. How do you do that, Raj? There's no wrong way Good. to eat a Reese's. Back here live in Biloxi. Most have evacuated and shelters are full. Many have been forced to the rooftop of their homes. This has proven to be a bad idea because the flood has forced them to the rooftop of their homes. Many have been found hanging from trees. Emergency effects have been saved their lives in this situation. Yes, Rick, just like in Biloxi, New Orleans is a total state of emergency. Our newest problem is looting and violence that has begun. As people have found themselves homeless and without any supplies, mayhem has broken out in many areas. The police force is very slim, plus the breakdown of communication and transportation. Police can do very little to stop the crimes. Shopkeepers and citizens have left to protect their own property. Unbelievable, Jim. These are the facts of the storm. Katrina was upgraded to a tropical storm on August 24, 2005. It was given its name. It started as a Category 1 hurricane before it crossed Florida early morning, August 25th. Katrina weakened over land and was below hurricane intensely for a few hours. However, it quickly developed redeveloped into a hurricane when it entered the Gulf of Mexico. They said it wasn't humanly possible, but now you can have all the power and excitement of Nintendo right in the palm of your hand. Introducing Game Boy. It's portable, it's in stereo, and its games are interchangeable. Plus, Game Boy comes with the outrageous new game, Tetris. And for head-to-head -head competition, use the revolutionary video link and blow your opponent away. Game Boy, only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power, portable power. Back here live in Biloxi. On August 27th, Hurricane Katrina hit a Category 3 and quickly developed into a Category 5 intensity the next day. Unfortunately, Katrina weakened a little bit as it hit the coast. In early hours of August 28th, Katrina hit the coast of Louisiana as a Category 3 hurricane then went back over for a few hours before it made its third and final cross land as it hit hurricane near Louisiana and Mississippi Bar. Hurricane Katrina maintained hurricane intensity well into Mississippi. Back to you, Jim! Wow, Hurricane Katrina will definitely be on our minds for many years to come.